Hey everyone, this is Patrick with SFMF Fishing and I've been trying some different things and um, so far the ones that work for me is Monster Bass and Mystery Tackle Box. Um, unfortunately you have um, the one company that makes all their own baits. Um, they got too big, too quick, and stopped caring about their customers um, and the money that they spend. Um, another one, um, a, a big one, um, big box. It was like a hundred and ten dollars a month, and whatever it was, um, they they just um, the stuff that came in it was just not any good. I didn't like it. Um, but so I saw an advertisement for this this is fish bowl um, so it's be all gear all fishing gear um, I'm not going to say how much I spent but for what you spent for this box you are guaranteed by the company to have provided you with 200 plus dollars worth of gear not lures not but gear stuff you can use other than, I have plenty of poles I have plenty of lures soft plastic yada 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 gear so I'm gonna do an extremely honest review on this box and those who are subscribed to my channel already know what extremely honest means so let's open fish bowl now we're coming into the springtime okay uh, the cold weather's going away um, about ready for pre-spawn up here and um, yeah I say this because of what they gave or put in their box and by the way fish vault over a month late on their on their um, box a month late and not once did they contact me to say they were going to be late. I had to contact them and say, where is it? Um, they're supposed to be a family-owned, veteran-owned company. Um, yeah. Veterans don't have that type of integrity. We call and say, it's going to be late. We'll message you. We'll do something. Um... They may have veterans working for them, but as owners, I doubt it. Um, such a lack of integrity. Um, so, let's grab this. And by the way, I did comparison shopping. And uh, like I said, this box is supposed to, guaranteed supposed to, equal 200 plus dollars worth of gear do you hear this fishful 200 plus dollars in gear so here's the price list um, and the first item a nice item don't get me wrong it's a gear aid arc rechargeable LED light and power station oh my god look at that huh this is what I want on my kayak um, or in my camper I, I just I'm just maybe I'm getting a little huffy sorry I'll calm down um, they say it's a hundred and twenty dollar retail value 
this I typed it in on Amazon and I came up with eighty dollars and seventy one cents same exact item X attack rip spool so the rib spool let's see here here we go this is great this it says is a $30 item I saw it on Amazon between $19.99 and $29.99 so I split the difference and said it's a $25.99 bait now or item now it says this is a must-have for EDC and fishing trips the lightweight complete field repair kit includes first aid fire starting fishing and navigation proudly made in the USA yes it is made in the USA Um, make sure. Um, doesn't say exactly where it's made on the box. It's, it's saying USA, but, or at least it's got this little flag on it, but it doesn't actually say it, say it. Um, it doesn't exactly say made in. Um, so, but anyways, when I think fire starter, I'm thinking, oh, it's got a flint and a scraper. Um, it does not. It's got red thread in, in this cord and you use that to start a fire. Well, I can use, if it came down to it, I can use a lighter like it did with this and a piece of paper or something out of my wallet just to start a fire or you know um field repair kit includes first aid kit there's nothing in here for first aid unless you're going to use the braided line that's in here for a tourniquet which i wouldn't advise um it's got um, duct tape on it, rolled in on the inside, and that's supposed to be really high tech. Um, inside, if you unscrew this, see that's the braided line right here, okay? Um, you use it as thread to repair a pack or something like that. Um, and it comes with a very blunt tipped sewing needle. And see, that's that's the duct tape right there. And um, this is supposed to be a $30 item. Now, do you see anything on this as advertised that this is a first aid kit? Or this is a fishing navigation tool? Um, I don't see it. Next, now remember, cold weather is going away, um, but they're going to give us a lined fleece beanie right here. Here we go. A power cap lined the power to see in the dark. It's a, it's a fleece beanie which within the next week or two won't will be too warm to wear but it does have lights on it pretty cool huh yeah would have been better if it was a clip-on light um, um next next would be 
the Allen Company reel cover. Oh, by the way, the repair the the beanie they said was twenty two dollars. I found it for sixteen fifty three. Um, next is the Allen Company reel cover, an actual actual fishing gear item. There you go. Um, for a bait caster, uh, being that I've got about 20 bait casters, I'm gonna need 19 more of these. Uh, they say it is $13. I found it on line for $9.99. Then, being that the warm weather is coming, what's the one thing you really need? Feel the heat thermos seat cushion. It is lightweight thermos seat, no chemicals, no batteries. It will warm your buttocks. Just wait and see the magic. Really? Um, thermos seat. They say is eleven dollars. I could only find it at sixteen oh six. Um. Yeah. And we have. I guess this could be used for fishing if you are a um, fly fisherman, which when you fill out their survey, you tell them what kind of fishing you do, and fly fishing was not one of them. Um, Aqua Seal FD Repair Kit, um, or a, an inflatable raft, which I don't have. Um, Waiter, it says Aqua Seal Waiter Repair Kit. Okay, this says it is seven dollars, which is about right. Seven forty nine, I found online. So, how many items is that? One, two, three, four, five, six items. Okay, it's supposed to total. It's supposed to have two hundred plus dollars worth of gear. What did I come up with? A hundred and fifty-six seventy-seven. Less than what I paid for this box. So do I have a right to complain? I darn well do. Um, fish fault, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are no veteran-owned company. Veteran-owned companies have integrity. You have no integrity. I tell you this. If anybody ever asks, what do you think about Fish Vault? Should I get their box? I will tell them no. They are a ripoff. So, there you go. That's my opinion. So, Fish Vault, you heard it from me. And I told you you would hear it from me. Don't pay attention to these beautiful little pictures of them sending son sonars, um, depth gauges, all this other stuff, okay? This is bullcrap. $156. You guys are a ripoff. You are not a veteran-owned company. You can't be. That is not integrity. That's not business. I know you do Hunt Vault. Maybe you should stick to Hunt Vault and get the heck out of the fishing gear business. And with that, I will end my video. But, for all you real veterans out there,
or all you people out there that know real veterans, I'm sorry. If you haven't heard from them for a while, please give them a buddy check. Make sure they're okay. Okay? They, they, the real ones have defended your freedoms. The least you can do is make sure they're okay. And until next time, peace out.